go here. And let's see. Much to look at, huh? Some great photos and portraits of your mostly great family. You decide to take a closer look. Shit. <gasps> P.A. Uh, P.A. <laughs> pa used to be great with that. P.A. <laughs> Why did I want to read P.A.? Oh my god, that's just because of the, the, the name abbreviations in like, uh, the chat blog. <laughs> I swear. Pa used to be great with animals. You wonder what happened? Maybe a uh, betrayal? No, impossible! Look how good that dog is. That dog never betrayed anybody in his entire life. You would stake your entire reputation on it, the whole thing. Mom is the picture of grace and radiance. And Pa's just... Pa. Seriously, has he ever changed his look? Sometimes you wonder if he was born with just spectacles and mustache, or at least one of the two. Uh, you can't even look at this picture. You deplore cruelty to animals. One of the many ways you and your father never saw eye to eye. One of the other ways was how he never actually looked at you much, let alone in your eyes. Oh. That's sad. You and should have a lot of fun memories with your babysitter. But now probably more than with mom and pa combined. You'd always thought of her as the kind of cool and fun older kid you wanted to be. Until you got old enough to realize she's a pretty sucky role model. You wonder what her family is like, but it's probably not your place to ask. Ah, look at the little dude. So cute. Pa and someone you presume is his sister? Oh, it's Jane! <laughs> Nobody he's ever mentioned, not that the two of you talk much. Kind of weird you think, uh, to think you might have liked... You might have liked a second cousin out there you've never met. Maybe she died young? The old timey times were pretty rough. How old timey times are we talking here? You and your very good dog. Aww. There aren't any pictures of the three of you together, so you try to make one. Through the art of composition. By hanging these three solo photos together, it's kind of like there's a photo of all three of you, sorta. Ah, A lovely diptych of school portraits. The laser backgrounds, the bad hair days, simply perfection. <laughs> Jude puts the, di the dip in diptych. You mutter to yourself, such an unreal <laughs> burn and didn't suspect chomp. But you probably wouldn't even get it. Come to think of it, maybe neither do you. Ooh la la, that their mom's looking très glamnifique. When you grow up, you hope this is what mirrors will look like. Chitchek, my biggest fan, A. Claire. A, huh? Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Uh, can I can I tap dance at these portraits? If we're about to mess with these portraits, but on second thought, you decide to just take a close look at them. Oh yeah. Uh. Okay, no, can't do anything with them. But yeah, Roxy. There's Roxy, and then there's Jake and Jane. What kind of weird fan fiction am I reading? Once again. Oops, I clicked out of the game again. Ah! I hate that the game doesn't look your mouse. What the frick is that? This guy, what's he so happy about anyway? His expression probably made more sense in its original context, that is to say, whatever tomb or temple or whatever you, that your pa plundered him from. You clearly you dodged the serpent, but you're not surprised. Ballet is, after all, the preferred school of dance for such a venture. Tap dancing would probably just agitate the snake. If you had to get past one, which is very possible, likely even. Huh, you were about to think some snarky quip about how these two things are obviously not related. So why would you try to use one with the other? Jeez, but something about this key does remind you of snakes. Weird. The snake is a stack and cares little for treats. You for your part, kill little for snakes. You put a pog in a serpent's mouth. Nothing. We should pick it back up. It's gone, what the heck? Is there something mysterious about the statue? Could it be a... Oh no, wait, there it is. There's the pog. It wasn't its mouth after all. <laughs> a 
watch it. Oh. Well. Seems the power is out. That should make the trophy room quite the adventure, which is to say, not quite the adventure you wish you were having right now. Oh no. Ah, <laughs> uh, it would seem the power is out. Classic Psyops, over. What? Credit where it's due. Best way to destabilize countermeasures. Leave you in the dark. Literally. Over. Not literally. It's still like late afternoon. I can see fine. Should have no trouble getting to the trophy room then. Over. Fine then, Mr. Mission Control. Yes, great. Over and out. I'm, I'm, I'm scared because y'all gave me evil, evil troll smiles. Oh, damn. <laughs> There's so much shit here. Holy, holy crap. This bookshelf contains several of Pa's books, including pistols to pelts, how to turn sweet, intelligent animals into weird rocks and stuff. Teach yourself taxidermy, I guess. And safari, stories of bold man and the animals they killed from a distance even though they weren't hungry and did not intend to eat them. This is the room of the Brick Bud reference, isn't it? Oh. You don't need your graceful ballet skills to avoid reading. All you need is power of your video games. Already pretty cluttered on the shelf without your help. You may have been the one who tap danced these books into your cluttered state in the first place. This whole thing is way too cluttered to be a good hiding place. Plus, you've already elected to keep this thing closed, remember? You're like 90% sure you remember that. Newspaper and animal treats. Well, that sounds like just it's just a great way to get mice. Not that they would last long in this house, considering. You'd rather not think about it. It was bad enough of that thing in the house, and now there's monsters too? Great. Getting to sleep tonight is gonna be really easy now, always assuming you don't just get killed before that. Think positive, Joey. See puzzles, find solutions, and try to avoid creating perfect little furnished nests for rats to move into. Didn't we just establish earlier that they just... They don't just, like, spawn in? Pogs! Aside from being things you flip and being made of paper, they're pretty much the opposite of books. Although, those similarities aren't easy to discard now that you think about it. A pog is basically just a tiny nibble of an enormous book feast. Did I tap dance at it? Oh yeah, I did. <gasps> just a reliable old portable cassette, cassette player. Ah, oh, Walkmans. Complete with headphones, Chit can occasionally be found using it to even further isolate himself from reality. Need your belay skills to avoid the monsters with headphones on, you'd never hear them coming. Death by Enya. <laughs> you would probably end up reincarnated as Rose trapped in an iceberg. Plus the batteries are dead, of course. Oh, okay. Now oh, Chit left one of his ta tapes in there and nobody can tap dance to Enya. <laughs> Especially with a pair of dead batteries in the compartment. Hmm. Holding your ALUM near the cassette player, you could swear you briefly heard some tinny music coming out of the little headphone speakers. But the batteries are dead, right? Double check, they're definitely dead. That was um, weird. Possibly not quite dead batteries or not, it wasn't even turned on. Mysterious! This cassette player, like most others, asks only for batteries, not processed animal by product shaped like little bones. <laughs> Sorry, cassette player, you're fresh out of double A's, triple A's, the whole A family, really. You know well enough that any attempt to interface the parts of the cassette player would be futile. Not even a compact disc player could make use of these particular discs. Okay. Uh, I guess... I mean, the batteries are dead. Dead batteries, of course, seems to be a running theme. Oh. I remember that wolf. I mean, the other wolf that we saw in the comic was not quite that bad. This piece was too depressing, so it gave it a nice refinishing. If your paw has a problem with it, he's welcome to say so the next time he's actually around. A smile. It's not dead. <laughs> there's coming. There's flowers coming out of the gun. Hmm. You wonder if you'll be driving by then. To college? Where you teach because you're an adult and 20 years have passed. 
Wow. Head wet. The doctor's out. <laughs> Blow ladies! There they are! The ladies in these paintings are eerily beautiful, although maybe everyone would look like that in blue. Lamp, goodness, you'd like to meet the lady who modeled for it someday? Oh my god, shiny! You fucking... Ladies in these paintings that you though maybe everyone would look at them in blue. Okay. Damn. Uh, is there anything else here? A beanbag chair. Super comfy and thankfully not filled with real beans. You could take a nap, but you've kind of got a lot going on right now. I'm not gonna use items on a blue lady. Wait, I can? Uh, tap dance at them. Can I? No, I don't think I can. I don't have the item bar here. Can't pocket them. I'm sorry. I would like to pocket them. But alas, I am not allowed. Oh. <gasps> Look, a piano can be used to turn the slight motion of one's fingers into music. Those ivories, how they beg to be tickled. But you mustn't! Also, you, uh, can't. Oh, that would be just a thing, wouldn't it? Some kind of eerie, lonely sonata to really set the tone for the adventure ahead. Something in a minor key, maybe? Something that sounds like... Da, 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 da. Baby? <laughs> it's a shame that would probably provoke a bunch of monsters to, monsters to eat you. Also, you can't really play the piano. Also, it's full of shit. It wouldn't even make a sound. What if you pass recent, vic vic recent victims? He loves animals. He loves killing animals and turning them into ghoulish trophies, celebrating his victory over nature. Yeah, big man, as long as he has a big stupid gun. Although you're happy to perform for your own stuffed animals, the more sinister nature of paws stuffed animals gives you pause. You mean pause. This poor fella is so shoddily put together that you fear your turbulent tap routine might cause it to collapse into a loose jumble of remains. Ah, uh, no, you don't think you'll be putting your precious heirloom in this poor fella's grotesque remains. I doubt this creature has any interest in showing down, seeing as it lacks requisite organs and all. As an aspiring veterinarian, you are sometimes forced to temper your sentimentality with a cold dose of biological expertise. You attempted to stick the rest of your pox into this poor creature's mouth and be done with them, but sadly it is already stuffed to the rim with useless filler. It's a bear that you paw shot and turned into a trophy. And all of his friends who come into this room will think, Oh, this guy shot a bear, okay. Except he doesn't really have any friends and he's never here, so it's just a nice big horrifying thing for you to deal with. You don't need to outrun the bear. You only need to outrun you. Wait, that joke doesn't really work when you're narrating to yourself. Or, wait, what are you talking about? You dropped this line of thought forever. <laughs> oh, wait, did I skip something? Hey, a bear. <laughs> you make yourself as intimidating as possible. The bear is terrified. Oh, don't worry. There's no pause for alarm. You think you might be bear king? What? What? Bear, uh, bear keying up the wrong tree. Oh wait. <clears throat> Oh, look at that face. He really does look like he's rearing up for a treat. Or just slap someone's head clean off of a single swipe of his incredible paws. Or one or the other, though, for sure. You can't use the pops of this animal. They're just unbearable. <laughs> Paws major totem of power. The clunky gadget controls the TV at the garage door, toasted thermostat, and pretty much everything. Else of... With... Else of with... And pretty much everything else of a uh, with a charge running through it. What the fuck is the sentence? It's pretty hefty. Ah, typo, yeah. Really now the universal remote was designed to reduce extra extraneous physical activity. Using it while prancing around sort of defeats that purpose. Which is part of why you have no interest in this dumb thing. 
He briefly considered the idea of a television that could be controlled by the rhythmic tapping of your shoes. The either and the two words are removed one, yeah. <laughs> Not sure you're willing to deal with the inevitable torrent of sprained ankles and lawsuits, though. The universal remote can control anything. You have a feeling that your heirloom, if it has a function at all, will be much more exclusive than other point in its favor. Your dog loves trying to chew this thing up enough already. The last thing you need is to get that treat sand all over it. One of these pogs depicts an image of an anthropomorphic remote controlling, leering amorously at an anthropomorphic television set. The television set is quite buxom, of course, so that you know it's a lady, because otherwise it would be weird, right? Cheap C8 box. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, scavenge that thing. You pop open this behemoth and square your pocket the E-cell batteries right into the old Solidex. <gasps> Amazing. Doesn't fit though, right? Yeah, we don't need D-cell. Fucking hell. <laughs> These batteries are so huge, they don't even begin to fit. Like fitting a, a round peg into a round hole that's a bit smaller than the peg. You'll need some D-cell batteries. Amazing! We got another item we can combine with everything! No, this isn't a depowered mode or anything. Look, whatever this bear does, he's already doing it as hard as he can. If you intend to Frankenstein PA's uh, a fucking hell pause little project back to life, you're going to need a lot more electricity and a blatant disregard for ethics. I guess I can check that out. Oh, damn. This is the blue lady I can... Wouldn't mind dancing with this lady one bit when she were a lady and not truly tacky lamb. What does PA stand for? I don't know. Parental. Uh, I... <laughs> this la lamp makes you blush brighter than the lamp itself. Gay! I want to unsteady her, though it would only be fair since she's definitely unsteady. You. <laughs> this heirloom has a lot of secrets, this lamp doesn't. Parental aggressor, yeah. A little rude, Joey. Go and quit it. An idea springs to mind and you blush <laughs> has a power core. <laughs> Fuck moment, <laughs> indeed. Welcome back, Pisian. Paternal armamentifier. <laughs> oh shit. You've always enjoyed this painting, particularly because the light looks so alive. Whoever painted it must have a very good imagination. Either that or they painted it very, very fast. <laughs> It's just a painting again. Okay. Ah, uh, boy, your pa really gets inventive with this taxidermy, huh? What a ghoul. Belay is like this bear clog, precise and fierce. Hey, he makes a pretty good metronome. A very slow one, though. Something about this key and clockwork is so compelling to you that it almost distracts you from the Frankensteinian winged bear. <laughs> Give it a treat. The bear couldn't enjoy a treat as its intestines are clearly a clock. When it's when is it time for pogs? Barely ever. It's powered by the pendulum. Wow, look at it go. Uh I safe again. Uh da da da. Let's check out the door. Oh shit. It's so dark. Wait. This is clearly the room where I'm supposed to go. Just as you pass into the living room, pulling the door shut behind you, it shuddered as something heavy and wet slumped against it from the other side. Wait, what? I can't see anything in the trophy room. It's way too dark. Odd. I suppose navigable? Over. Considered utilizing flashlight? Over. I mean, the one you filled with your pogs? That flashlight? Joey, please. Over. No use dwelling on past. Over. It doesn't matter anyway. Something's blocking the door to the trophy room now. Something? Uh, something? Over. Yeah, I'm not sure what. Strange. For now, I recommend focus on restoring power before sunset's completely over. Jeez, you're right, okay. I'll do that. Thanks for the reminder. 
Need electricity to retrieve key anyway, over. What? Can't discuss over on secure channel, over and out. Weirdo? And he had to start getting the power back on. Power outage seems to grant invaders significant advantage, over. It's not really a tip. It's more like just an explanation for why I'm trying to do it. Not sure what to tell you. Circuit breaker, probably in basement, over. See, that was very helpful, thanks. Doing my best, over and out. Uh, I do not know if this was good that I just left again, so I'm saving in a different ah, spot. <clears throat> oh, damn. What's going on here? Wow, this kitchen is so dirty! I can load that file, yeah. <clears throat> uh, wait. Options? No. Do I have to go to the main menu to load? Really? <coughs> Excuse me? Mm, yeah. Start menu. Uh, wait. Save. It was this one. Did I? Did last. Okay. Start menu. Uh. Continue. This one. Okay. Look. This room is really giving you the creeps. I felt that in my ears. You hear something breathing. Something else, you mean, besides you? Mm. Yeah, I guess there is no... There's no other thing I can do here. Okay. Okay. Then... Let's just go again. Yeah, let's go for this conversation again. Do the thing. And then we're back. Where the old safe was. The power is off and as such a fax machine is basically useless. This is an unacceptable state of affairs. A fax machine. You visualize all the delicious items that could be in a cool embrace of your refrigerator, but are not. Snack. It's empty. Food shopping has become sporadic of late. Turns out tipsy babysitters are fairly bad at, resp at responsibilities. The sound you've heard since you entered the kitchen grows louder as you approach. The alpha static is like nothing you've ever heard. Rumbo? Who the fuck is Rumbo? If you want to go back to not hearing it as soon as possible, you turn the radio off. There's more pictures here. Post to check. Hey, Dino! Who the fuck's Rumbo? There are monsters out there, watching, working up an appetite. If all those monsters out there, you think you'll leave a shot. Also, I don't actually know how to open this window short, short of breaking it. The backyard used to be so much more awesome before the monsters showed up. You really don't want to go out there right now, attempting though it is to go rake more leaves. Oh, the struggle of the monster-bothered leaf pile enthusiast. You keep meaning to start a scene. <laughs> You're agile and graceful, but you barely escaped the backyard with your skin still in your body. You're not in a hurry to break that crucible again. It doesn't even rattle for a door with no log and a big dog sized hole in it. It's surprisingly secure. Nope, this door doesn't have a lock. None of the entrances to your house do, actually. You guess you're lucky this is usually such a safe little town. If you were going to back on your dog, Patrick, you'd at least use the doggy door, but you'd actually prefer to st uh, she stay in the relatively safe uh, safety of her doghouse than try to break the crossing. These little garbage chips would be no defense against the monster if you opened his door. If you could rig up some kind of trap to shock the monsters when they try to turn it off. This is stupid. 
The battery powered fax machine had its season in the sun, and that season was called the 80s. If you're an 80s kid, so you love to reference things like fax machines with nostalgia, even though you obviously still have a fax machine right here in your kitchen. Decade based identity can be a tough row to hoe. I'd love to send a park fax to some roof, but it's just not possible without any power, which is just as well. Considering now is a terrible time for surreal pranks. No power, no facts, no pet treats. Yep, the power failure is literally the only obstacle to that activity. Praise you, Mike. You cannot use the green key to access the innards of this fax machine. <laughs> yeah, this is the perfect time for surreal pranks, indeed. Uh, the, you doubt there's anything important in there anyway. Probably just gears and ink. Okay. Uh, can I use this? No. Shake full of seasoned all magic spice mix. Your babysitter is a terrible cook, but she dumps the stuff all over everything and it actually tastes pretty good. Maybe it really is magic. <gasps> oh god, another item! Of course everybody knows there's no such thing as magic. It's all fake with chemicals and stuff. Oops. The mysterious chemical processes that produce power from the silver nubs of these batteries. Thought the thought. They don't need any assistance from your speed or your savory. You don't hate pogs because they're bland. That would be a relief. They're so in your face and intense and radical. You can't stand them. Turn 12 already, pogs. Are they already irresistible to pretty much all animals? Why gild a lily? The precious heirloom is already quite magical, thank you. And you have no desire to eat it. <laughs> You don't really have any strong feelings about trying to use your spice mix with your tap dancing or whatever. So you're just gonna list some words. It might either be spices or tap dancing terms. Ready? Okay. Barbershe. Grape wine. Tanglefoot. Riffle. Cupanola. Now, how many of those were tap and how many were spice? Give up? All tap! Tap dancing's wild. A light touches everything in the kitchen and on stage. Well, look, maybe next time try some de celery salt. <laughs> hey, yo, from Puff Court, it's Shari Claire Extraordinaire keeping it light despite having a pretty rough afternoon. <laughs> oh, I know, I love her. Yeah, even out of dog food, things really have gotten desperate. You guess you can't blame your babysitter for running off to the store for groceries at what was retrospectively the worst possible time. You gracefully avoid the few stale and scattered kibbles on the floor as you gracefully do everything. You probably don't even need to bother mentioning it, which is why you usually don't. Looks like this bag of dog food is tapped out. <laughs> okay, you gotta say that one time. <laughs> the bag of dog food is already unlocked and the last utterly plundered. It's empty, thankfully. You have your pet treats as backup, but you've got to deal with this pretty soon. Pet treats alone do not... Uh, do not... A balanced pet diet make what? <laughs> oh, your dog is much better at taste than that. <laughs> batteries aren't good for dogs. They aren't good for people either, or the environment. All batteries are good for is powering the many, many devices you rely on for a level of luxury you take absolutely for granted until the minute the batteries run out. Valid and true. Even if there were dog food in here, that's bound to be a bad move. A dog-sensitive sniffer would get overwhelmed by the potent flavor sensations contained in this tiny shaker. You look familiar too. This mummy is currently blocking your access to the rest of the house. He has been here ever since your pa left him here months ago. Aggressively belay? He never dance with soldiers. They'll just steal your heart away and leave on a three-year tour. Let it shake this mummy, Napoleon guy, right out of his busy aesthetic. Which would be one way to get past him, but it would make an awful mess. Hmm. You wonder which one is older. Weird. Even though you know your heirloom is pretty old, it doesn't show any signs of wear whatsoever. It looks like it could have been made today. If you create an association in your dog's mind between mummy and food, you're gonna walk in here one morning to find a heap of linen and chewed on bones with a silly hat perched on top. You try to slip one in his pocket, but the pants are too tight. <laughs> Jeez, just look at them like they're painted on. It's wow. <laughs> what are you doing? 
Yeah, he may look like a timepiece of his in his linens and his patterns and his sunrise looking at and his tight pants, but does this Trump even know what a battery is? Did he ever? No, no, he didn't. But I was keeping this fella from rotting. It seems to be doing the trick on its own, but the minute he starts to go bad, you'll be ready to spice him, spice him till he's fragrant. With the power out, you're going to need some kind of light source before setting foot down this broken neck trap, I guess. Okay, let's leave. Let's save. And let's... Oh, shit. This used to be stuck neatly on the shelves, but a big dog came clambering through and slammed right into them. They tumbled everywhere. It was about three years ago. They aren't great housekeepers. Easy to just walk around them. They're already pretty cluttered. Nothing it is about weird heirlooms you've checked. Where I made this mess definitely doesn't deserve a treat. Oh no, the dog doesn't deserve a treat! I beg to differ. Not a great place for a slam sash. This, the terrain is way too varied. Looks like someone came charging through here already. Probably your dog. Books, the spice of life. Of pretty dull lives, anyway. Anything else? Oh no, there isn't. Where do I got batteries? Wait. I can't combine more shit with more shit. There are some pretty spicy books in this pile. They're your paws and you definitely haven't read them. Nope. They're just full of helpless beautiful women swooning all over brave adventurers. And why would you care about that? You wouldn't, so you don't. Books don't need batteries. They're simply books. All they need is you. Or rather, that's all you need to enjoy them. Books don't particularly need you at all. Really. They're too big. You know, you're beginning to kind of wish you didn't have to use batteries for everything. Unfortunately, there is no alternative and never will be. Reminded that your magic spice mix is not some festive assortment of exotic music, but a mixture of extra spices that have no business dirtying up your cassette player. <laughs> is there anything else I've missed? I mean, you played a note that matches the letter of these batteries, but you don't know how to play the piano. It would have been pretty cute, though. You feel no immediate need to spice things up by ruining this massive antique with flavor powder. It would not only be impractical to kick this poor creature up a notch with the magic spice mix, it would also be woefully disrespectful. Your head's already swimming from just standing down from the rank miasma. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> That's around this awful thing. You really don't think a slayer needs any strengthening. Hydration free the gods nonsense indeed. <laughs> if you intend to Frankenstein, PA's little project back to life, you're going to need a lot more electricity and a blatant disregard for ethics. No, this isn't a depowered mode or anything. Look whatever this bear does. He's already doing it as hard as he can. Uh look. You can't tell if the noises you hear are from the monsters or the wind. It's either some particularly bougie monsters or some really funny wind. You need batteries. You could just turn them off if you didn't care that it would probably get killed by a big monster. But you do care. You care a lot, frankly. The entrance way is dusty enough. You don't even have a mat to wipe your feet on. You and Chu just trundle in from outside every day. Shoes filthy, tracking dirt all over these beautiful rugs. Tragedy. That would be littering. Plus, when you open the door, a monster might dash in and kill you. Paw glittering is not the thing you want to die doing. You don't even want to die at all. <laughs> The three guardians who encircle and triangle? The entranceway to your home do deserve some treats, but their dedication to their duty wouldn't permit them to pause in their vigilance, vigilance even for a moment, even long enough to scarf a sweet treat. Mm. Nope. Your front door doesn't even lock, actually, which <laughs> is happening in its own way, honestly. The door is oddly moved by a heartbreaking performance. Yeah, well, get in line, door. You aren't too blown away by it either. Uh, it's true, you're not just putting up a jaded cynical front for the door. Your own harsh critic. You're sturdy. Not that it slowed that big snake monster down. It didn't even slow him down for a full second. Okay. Um. We need batteries. Where the fuck? Whoops. Do we get batteries? No, this is just this area again, okay. Oh yeah, I didn't try to open the door yet. 
Wait, no. Go back. Joey, you're a little too excited about something sometimes. Leaving the protection of your home seems like a bad idea. Might be creatures and weirdos who hide out there. You think it will stay inside, but your chance of meeting creatures and weirdos are still pretty good, honestly. The radio didn't have batteries, right? No. Okay. Let's just rumble. Whoever that motherfucker is. <laughs> This doesn't do a thing. But I didn't check. I didn't check what? Wait. No, I can't. Can I? Oh, wait. It's often it'll stay that way. Oh, oh, wait. Pop open. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, uh, okay, good. If this radio didn't need batteries to make those noises, you'd have to upgrade the spooky tube to business class spooky tube. And frankly, you can't afford that. The batteries. Jackpot D cells. You can never have too many, but I would have just walked around now. <laughs> Thanks for giving me that hint. <laughs> uh, you can never have too many batteries. Never in too many different sizes either. Hooray! Okay. Uh, no, we're not gonna use them on everything. We're just gonna put them in. <laughs> Uh, achievement unlocked light weaponry. Another electric device successfully powered for clever manipulation of resources near immediate environment. You are on fire! With your flashlight fully functional and in fit fighting form, you feel significantly better equipped to handle most low light environments and also to beat that bejesus out of any of these creeps that get too close. Although that's a last resort, of course. <laughs> Speaking of, mm, feeling threatened. I guess we can go down now. Okay. Spooky music! More things to look at! It's a machine designed to take your clothes and wash them. You call it the washing machine. It serves its purpose admirably. On the rare occasion, uh, a human being is willing to call for it. They added the sound coming from the radio to help players figure it out. But when you checked it the first time, the sound stopped, okay? Yeah. I mean, it, I, I would have investigated it at some point because I had a feeling that there would be batteries in the radio, but, you know, <laughs> I would have just walked around a bit more. <laughs> Tap that. No, no. Usually wash your lace slippers on cold, then you don't put them in the dryer, which is easy to remember because you don't have one. Yeah, they probably should have had the off button at work. Rhythmic. Rumbling does make a beat that you could maybe dance to if the power is loud. Always check your pockets for prices and replaceable heirlooms before you do the laundry. They just dissolve, and wouldn't that be a waste? Almost everyone I've seen gets stuck there. Yeah, it's 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 kind of it's kind of tricky. It's not very obvious that there's a hatch there. You really just need to like click 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 click. Yeah. How could you look like a hungry pupper in the eye? How could you look a hungry pupper in the eye after you've you'd frittered away your treats and washing machine signs? Not even science really, just foolishness. The art on these is surprisingly durable. You guess it's so kids can click and slam their trash discs at each other without rubbing the power ranges off of them. Washing machine wouldn't even make a dent. By the time a battery needs to be washed, you should probably just be throwing it away. <laughs> But what you mean dropping it off at one of the designated battery disposal sites in your area? Because it's definitely what you do, yep. Vice mix doesn't go in the washing machine. You, you shouldn't need to be told this. Your pa brought this home as a souvenir. There's nobody inside it. It's kind of like a metaphor, you guess. Uh, you're not sure you want to start down the road of analyzing your life as it, if it were a work of fiction. <laughs> well, they've got the legs for it, but even if they've been trained, you think they might be a little... Rusty. <laughs> Joey, no. Huh. Solid as a rock, you expected it to rattle a little at least, but you guess you're nothing compared to a fire-breathing lizard, which is certainly not a thing that is real. Those are fake for sure forever, and also in the past, all fake as heck. <laughs> Joey, yes. A dreaded mysterious heirloom like this is exactly what Knight should be either defending or questing after. You think, although you guess those two groups of knights might disagree on a few key issues, you also think after the first thing you thought. <laughs> I don't know, it's starting to get a little, uh, wait, 
Or you, what is this? What is this? <laughs> it's, 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 um, I always forget the name. Uh, from, from, uh, the Centaur World Show. Blah, 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 dog. <laughs> I forgot the name of the denizen. You would offer this the tough customer pet treat for soup. Insult a knight at your peril. Comfortable dog, yeah. Typhy is okay, thank you. Or like whatever you guess. It's not like they have a sword. You're just trying to keep the light. Just doing a little like goofing. You would offer this tough customer pet treat. Oh yeah. Hog. You slot one in for Gabony armor. You expect it to fall and to make a sort of blink sound, but the sound it makes can only be described as the sound of a park makes when a creeped up kid slots it into a gap in an empty suit of armor left in the basement years ago by our now absent father. <laughs> so it was probably just more like a... Any batteries that would move this tall rink of metal would have to be like sea cells at least. Was its fortune predates battery powered locomotes locomotion? Of suits of armor, so does yours come to think of it. Zayzen that night? We need to buy the allegiance with costly spices from the Far East. This chivalrous warrior was sworn into your service long ago. Unfortunately, they can't fight very well due to, due to their inability to walk or move or really do anything besides be an empty suit of armor. But they're fiercely loyal in their own way, make no mistakes. A souvenir from your pa after his trip to Hawaii. He's been exploring the Pacific a lot lately for some reason, or so he mentioned offhandedly a few years ago. You assume he's still doing that. Dude, also, sorry if my mouse starts doing that, I just realized that. <laughs> that is when I start wiggling around my leg. <laughs> and then this happens. <laughs> so I'm sorry if this happens without me noticing at some point. You assume he's still doing that. Due to you not having any fresher data, or particularly caring one way or another where the hell he is. Oh, that kibby in love! Give the kibby some pet pets. My kibby is currently getting food. I am starting to get a little tired of all the, uh, combining everything with everything. <laughs> so let's just look at everything. The babysitter sometimes cracks into your paw's special reserve, and she tends to do it down here. Ah, getting many pets. Very good. Uh, and she tends to do it down here, so you and Chute don't see. You aren't really sure what to say about it, or if you even have any business saying anything about it at all. Belay demands precision and grace, not accessible to the inebriated, also you're 14. You don't want to send that hot cup of negligence clattering all over the place, do you? Ugh, that was really mean. She really is a good, uh, great babysitter. You're just in kind of a crappy mood today. Valid. You know, Betty's- You Betty's there? <laughs> what is a babysitter? <laughs> Your babysitter tries her best. And her best is usually pretty wonderful. She's really sweet and cool and like super smart, but yeah, it would be nice if your mom was still around. Aw. Spice it up. Baby crocker. <laughs> You're pretty sure your babysitter already spiced this up enough if you know what you mean, which you do unfortunately. I'm probably just gonna do some like like these things or so. You pair out for the cooler girls. They stare at you and move to those on living. Do a quick tap routine for hula girls. No response, but hey, the, the pile of boxes against the watch shift a little. Oh, achievement unlocked. May I have this dance? It's way too dark in here to turn your flashlight off. Okay. What? Just chaff her in the belly button or something? Wait, where did that come from? Weird. This basement is weird and you don't want to be in it anymore. Don't waste the magic spice mix on these hula girls. Their zesty island flair requires no supplement of flavor. Pogs are milky milk caps. The game pogs are in your face carpet branding off. Actually originated in Hawaii. That isn't Hawaii's fault though, as far as you know. Uh, look. With your past strange affinity towards the Betty Crocker brand. Oh yeah, this is all the spoon shit. Just realized. Uh, by Crocker brand ever apparent, this musty old chunk mainly consists of all sorts of cooking implements, ranging from the familiar to the enigmatic. 
But anyway, now, you can't tell what a whisk is for, but some of this stuff looks downright unethical. It's also in your way you can't reach the circuit breaker. Move chunk pile. Try to move one box and the whole pile is liable to come tumbling down on you. You need to find some way to get them all moving at once, shake them up somehow, control to tumble, that's the ticket. Totally unmoved. You'll need to stab a little li livelier to get the sturdy stack out of the way. And this is exactly why you were keeping your heirloom in your room in the first place. Your pa's habit of moving things to the basement or the attic of moss when he blows into town just to make room for a bunch more chunk. Even your heftiest slammer couldn't tip this stack, but I think back to uh, but think back to how you got these pogs or in day in another box you were having trouble with how did you solve that problem hmm? <laughs> i don't know i definitely did not tap dance with it right you sprinkle a little on the pile <laughs> astonishingly it remains sturdy oh shit the art is so cute Ah, uh, Joey, this looks dangerous. <laughs> Just saying. Maybe it's because you grew up in a house where nobody really cooks, but you have no idea what to do with these cooking implements. Food! The great mystery. No dice! Maybe this box pile isn't precarious enough to tap dance into an avalanche. The path to the circuit breaker is pretty clear now. Nothing really stopping you from, you know, doing something with that. After you took all the trouble to dance these boxes of all the cooking chunk into an out-of-the-way corner of your creepy basement, you want to leave your precious beautiful heirloom from your dear sweet mom in them? Oh no, no you don't. How about... Spicing it up a little bit again. All this stuff is a lot better here out of your way, but you think you'll be keeping your spice mix for yourself. If you leave it in a box in the basement, there's no telling what kind of hard to reach corner it'll get danced into. Um, look. You cleared the boxes away with your fancy footwork. Now just give the breaker a tuck or whatever. Uh, doesn't seem to be working. You're even more creeped out than you already were, which was severely. Uh, I don't trust this. I, I just save. Whatever. You flip the breaker and... Oh, damn. Ah, safe. <laughs> Everything's bright now, but also, oh, scary! <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> Strife! Holy shit! Surprise serpent! Uh, you've got no chance of beating this thing. You've got to get away. Step on it. Scuffle is good. <laughs> Hot stepping. Oh, it's lunch. Check, please. <laughs> what the fuck? Grace Phillips gone. Oh, <laughs> they have gone, Joe. <laughs> Amazing achievement unlocked. Step up. Well, that was something. Ah, back on. You doing? You psyops or? Crouching forces over. If you back, give you back light only to snatch it away. Described hypothetical, very cruel. The angry stick operators over. No, it's just me, criminy tune. It's Nick wants us down in the basement right away. I managed to get past him, but we'll probably need to deal with that at some point. Is that gonna call to a sad serpent? Correct. Beast Wily. But sister already established superior violent as attribute over. Hey, thanks. I think. Trophy room should be truly obstacle. Over. Wait, what? Add a key, Joey. I was on the price. Keep me loop over now. And I love how she just strolled up the stairs. Yeah, it was very... It wasn't very graceful. It was gone, right? Okay. Um... Yeah, but something fell in the way. Didn't it? Oh, damn! You're ugly! I like you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's a little squint she did. 
<laughs> oh, damn. Uh, so this is what was blocking the door? He looks hungry. Opening course. What? Electro rise on the prize? What? Oh, he really enjoyed the pet treat. Maybe I don't need to fight him after all. More? Anyone for seconds? Oh, yum, 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 yum. Make mine a double. <laughs> also, is the music too quiet? I wonder. Very hard to balance this game. Nom, nom, nom. All right, big guy. Time for dessert. Spice to meet you. Oh, pepper luck next time. Bite her luck. Oh no! Ah! <laughs> Music's good. Okay. I guess you just want to continue eating, huh? Treat to a pulp. <laughs> Once it's like the death scene averted, you're unbelievably stressed out right now. <laughs> Congratulations! Might be a bit loud now, okay. Yeah, I need to rebalance the music every now and then. Congratulations, you've ascended to rank 2, attained rank of tail wagging Tyro. Max HP increased by 12, muscle increased by 7. Congratulations, you've ascended to rank 3, attained rank of ma Minute Mammal Mander, Dexterity increased by 2, Grace increased by 6, Leverage increased by 5. Congratulations, you've ascended to rank 4, attained rank of Peppy Patterer, Master the Noggin Nut Bob, Hubris increased by 4, Courtesy decreased by 2. <laughs> this just reminds me of um, Problem Sleuth now. <laughs> the red key in his desk or something? But never leave critical item in such obvious location while we're... Okay, but like, where did you leave it? I just had to lure a hungry monster out of here with treats and I'm not sure how much time I have for brother sister conspiracy capers before it comes back. If from a compromise can't discuss the countermeasure over an insecure line, utilize puzzle to skill set over. Fine. Call back if assistance required over and out. Immediately. So is the key! <laughs> oh yeah, okay. As if being dead weren't bad enough, your power replaces his eyes with some creep glass orbs. The light refracted in the faceted stare gives you the creeps. Are you crazy to see some light reflecting off his antler too? Maybe it bears close examination. You run down the battery, you have no idea where you could get more. Better save it for when you really need it, okay. It's an... Ale... What? Ale... Bro whatever. A folk art monster from... Osha... No, I'm not even gonna try. Mexico, carved out of the wood of the copal tree. This little thing used to creep you out really bad until your babysitter suggested you learn more about it. He found out they're based on monsters and artists on his dreams, and ever since then, he seemed a lot more friendly. Alibri, <clears throat> like like the Fey. Al e Alibri. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. Imagine what it would be like if this monster were real, dancing gracefully on the winds with this spiny little le with it, with this spiny little leaf wings. I don't remember that there really are monsters flying around outside, and the whole flo flowery descriptions of monsters thing gets a lot less appealing. He's very fragile and culturally significant. You can't take any chances. This is um Horus. You think you're not up on your uh, Egyptol Egyptology? Those big ears and those wings, this little bad fellow probably prefers mosquitoes and moths to pet treats. Although, according to the disclaimer on the back, these pet treats may contain insects. Up to 0 0.01%? Uh, you don't like those odds, so no treat. Ha, <laughs> he does share its red and green color ring, kinda. Well, close enough. Close enough to raise a question. <laughs> uh, not really. Now what does this deer know about keys? You got any keys secrets, dear? Didn't think so. Legal insect requirements. Jeez, you feel like a jerk. Why were you so mean to him? You wish you really did have a key secret. You wish it so hard you believe it to be true. Dot dot dot. Why are you hiding the key, you smug noble jerk? I think it's got something to do with the light. Hmm. 
Nope, they seem to be from different pantheons. Ah, the grace of a bird and a god. That's you. Horace doesn't look like he's in the mood for tap dancing. This is exactly the kind of thing a wish wasn't in your house. Why couldn't your pa just leave their regular eyes in and also, more importantly, leave their head attached to their body? You'd like to put something in those sockets, but what? And also, wait, why, why do you want to do that so much? It's weird. How about... <laughs> Hawks in the eyes? You can never be so rude and cruel to such a big, sweet kitty who's already suffered so much. Something definitely needs to go in these empty sockets, though, if only because you're getting creeped out. Tap dancing at this poor kitty is liable to shake its head right off the wall, maybe onto those katanas. Or maybe only one of them is a katana? Well, regardless, the juxtaposition of the swords under a decapitated animal makes for a pretty coolish tableau. This bit of a kitty was more graceful than you can ever hope to be. Oops. Knife. Ha! Ah, all well, the good it did them. They stare into the empty so sockets of the cat head, but then at the red and green jewels and a key. Hmm. You look back at the empty so sockets and back to the red and green jewels. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, batteries? Batteries in the eye sockets, huh? Well, uh, it's worth a try. No, but it wasn't. It wasn't worth a try. <laughs> uh, season it. You sprinkle a pinch of the magic spice mix onto the moldering cat head trophy. From the depths of your soul, you somehow summon a willpower to resist eating <laughs> Don't eat that. Da, 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 da. We've never been entirely clear on what's going on in this tapestry, but it certainly looks intense. Just look look at the fire-breathing serpent beast at the bottom, and that red-eyed figure on the throne? What's their deal? Your pa's love of globes knows no bounds, but you don't recognize any of the continents in this one. You'd have a better idea of what you were looking at if you could read these scribbly labels. All you can make sense of is the X mark. Could it indicate treasure? Dancing it. Maybe you could incorporate this accurate globe into a play about globes? With a bunch of dancers dressed as globes doing pirouettes to simulate spinning? Yeah, that would be really revo revolutionary. If I need to move this thing, just give it a spin. No rhythmic stomps necessary. <laughs> this club obviously has nothing to do with any key shaped objects. Obviously not. Never ever. What are the animals like on you fake planet? Are they hungry for treats? You assume so. Animals always want treats, even fake ones. Assuming, unlike the poor animals in this room, that they are still alive, even fake alive. The best thing about this fake planet? No pox. Oh yeah, probably no monsters either. But she used to be a thing you could have said about the real planet that you live on. Not anymore, apparently. You're here for one, two, real planet. <laughs> you sprinkled the globe of spice! Uh oh, inhabitants of this fake planet how will you respond to this new ship, the global market for exotic spices? Although you're now obsolete, trade routes of uh, weather, this prodi prodigious miracle. Of what of your spice heavy investment portfolios? You better hope they were, were very flexible. <laughs> and what did I want to do? Oh, yeah, uh, for save. And then spin! You spin the globe and watch the white beams break across the surface of the globe. Spin! 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 I guess this doesn't do anything, huh? This is a katana. You have no idea what to do with one. Wait, maybe you will just throw it away. <laughs> Ballet is the most elegant and demanding type of dance. Maybe katanas are the same, but for swords? Look, you're going to lay it all in the line. Ballet rules, and you really don't give a flying frog about katanas. You are just trying to be nice. If you're going to hold something while you tap dance, it would be a cane. Just like the great Fred Astaire, who you know is a phenomenal tap dance, and you literally know nothing else about him. Your mom left you this key, so it's your heirloom. Your pa probably stole this katana from someone, so somewhere out there is a kid going without their heirloom. This makes you a little sad, even though you made it up. Uh, is there anything else in this room that I can look at? Not the gun? Wait. Ah. Seems like someone sliced this big fella's hand off. Lucky he's a lefty, at least posthumously. 
still a lot of season. Oh. <laughs> okay, can I can I season it? <laughs> you have to mem night the sprinkle of dust right in the missing membranes. So time time heals all wounds after all. I thought it was out of season. Now it is seasoned. Yeah, they have the battery powered suit of armor fills your mind with versions of big armored machine knights loyal only to their queen. Not enough yet, at least unstoppable. They aren't especially pleasant wishes, so you stop wishing them. Pogs like suits of armor are actually not all that common, despite being all that respective arrows will probably be remembered for. You can't just see it now. We're living in the pog epoch. <laughs> the pog epoch. We are. We are living in the pog epoch. Inside an empty suit of armor, is that a good hiding place or just the first place someone would look for? You guess you've never looked in there, so it's not the first place. Heck, that thing could be full to the brim of secret treasures and answers to what mysteries and you'd have no idea. And you never will. Uh. Hmm. There. There is a light switch, but I can't press it. Oh. What? That should did something. Oops. What thing? Over. Turned on the laser, but that's it. Nothing else is happening. Well, you were a puzzle master. Was wrong, it seems. Over. Hold on, over. Believe this calls for. Burns. The gruff crime dog experiences trouble. Unbelievable, over. Wait. Disregard previous burn. Superior burn formulated. Ace Ventura pet detective. Please respond advice required, over. Psst, nice try, dog. If you were a real tactician, you'd ma you'd manage to get your burns out on the first try instead of requesting do-overs? Quite wounded, but unable to protest. I've been informed mightily contentious banter cornerstone of squad com com bloop. camaraderie over. Uh, yeah, anyway. How am I supposed to solve this thing? It's, clear it's clearly a puzzle thing that cries out to be solved. Use marbles, over. I'm thinking as hard as I can, you know I like puzzles. I wouldn't be asking if it weren't an emergency. Actual marbles, over. What are you talking about? Trivial, really, over. What marbles? I don't have any marbles. You don't. None nearby? Over. No! Oops, over. It's achievement of luck. Na 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 na. Uh, hey, you. <laughs> you are now Trudholly. Oh. Probably, yeah. And though tonight is apparently the night you've been preparing for, laying so many preparations and counter matches and counter counter matches against, it would seem you made a rare tactical blunder. The marvels that Joey needs to disengage your strategic defense globe are here in your treehouse. Time to call in the lone gumbirds. Oh. <laughs> but the heat is on from the government, and you need to send an encrypted message while staying off the grid. You entrust it to one of your trained carrier pigeons, the lone gumbirds. You serve you the troops. There's Langley, Byers, and of course, Frohike. He's your favorite. Your sweet Frohike, how you adore him, you cherish the wind he flaps. Oh, no, I love this story, look at me! <laughs> uh, look. Your tactical escape hatch allows ingress and egress from your amazing treehouse. The music is so good! <laughs> you dropped your favorite pair of binoculars when you were, uh, retreating from the big serpent. These are actually your secondary auxiliary binoculars. Your Ogs Nox for short. Your careful records of the activity of the mysterious figures you often see prowling around in the woods. Joey didn't buy it, but the sudden influx of monsters may have changed your stance. Found near Hill. 1945. Burning evidence. How far can this... Go before someone finds the truth. Choice theme is Choi Player Extraordinary. <laughs> yeah. Both US Congress members suspected of cult activity. And this song Choi's theme is Chewed Harley, bizarrely. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Natural fog? <gasps> activity, November 11th. Oh shit. It's 
serpents, huh? President Clinton gives birth to Bigfoot. Bad boy spotted at bar mitzvah. <laughs> wow. Cult is sighting. Cover up, maybe? Spain lies. Tactical error! Consolidate all marbles here in Treehouse. Prevent attic key from falling into wrong hands. Over. Additionally, forgot about doing that. Over. No cause for concern putting top agent on it. Over. Wait, who? Did you get in touch with one of your friends or... Oh god. You mean one of your pigeons, don't you? Over and out. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, look. The perfect place to store your, your flares. Well, some of them. It's also where you keep your beeper. But I really don't want to get into that right now. You achieved a cache of flares you were keeping in your metal chest, combined with your flare gun there. Tactical treasure. Oh god, more items. Only a few of these are actually liquids, and unfortunately those are also the ones wh whose contents you don't precisely exactly 100% remember with total certainty. <laughs> you're not saying some of them are urine, but you're not saying none of them are urine. <laughs> what the fuck? Keep smashing geodes in case they're secretly alien eggs. And what is? Well, you already have the hammer in your hand, won't you? <laughs> Might be time to scan the airwaves again, see if you can pick up any chatter from the enemy. <gasps> marbles! Place a yellow marble in a pouch. Oh wait, I don't know which marbles I need yet. Cat's eye. I guess cat, uh, cat eyes would just make sense for for for... for cat you're probably the only kid in school that owns one of these babies what if those kids get stranded in the middle of the ocean and chokes in them until they start and die the chamber's empty because you observed proper playground safety protocols but maybe you should load it because you've also observed some scary sc stuff this evening breath held hand steady you carefully load the flares into the flare gun there's no going back now the genie's out of the bottle <laughs> Oh, wait, here it is. Figure one. Red and green. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 like it was said with like the, the thing. <laughs> Drink water, pinch. I, I am drinking water. Thank you. Okay, I need red and green. Uh, wait. What is the right marble calls? The second thought doesn't feel right. Didn't you have a secret diagram prominently? Okay, green and red. Do a quick visual inspection confirm that the pouch contains one green marble and one red marble. The pouch. Wow. Hey, let me... Hey, you already have a pouch with a red and green marble in it. Why would you ever possibly need another? The idea is as outrageous as it is inconceivable and you reject it. A lit flare would scare the cheeses out of a pigeon, and you need a pigeon at the very peak of his courage. <laughs> Flares go two places. Your fireproof flare chest, or your fire starting flare gun. No middle ground. No surrender. Oh yeah, the reflective flare light dancing in the geode makes some really fascinating colors. <laughs> Post check. Oh, thank you. It's not a bad idea, actually. I mean, it is because this radio currently only receives signals, but if you could figure out how to signal one of your pals for backup, that could really turn the situation around. You know, from experience, that getting in touch might not be easy, though. For now, you need to focus on helping your sister. Santa Camping Lantern. Your uses of it are hardly, are hardly standard, you think. Well, like, outstandard. I eat great. You no. Things have taken taken a dark turn, but I frankly feel a little sick that you felt briefly compelled to do such a thing. <laughs> you take some deep breaths, shake your head, keep it together, cheat old boy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, let's just do the thing. Yeet Yeet the pit oh. 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 <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I said. 
Sorry for hold up. Unbelievable tragic disaster over. If you know something else. I'm a soldier. I'm making second attempt now. Over. Uh, Alright, are you sure you're... Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I'm crying. I know. Uh, you take another part from the draw and load it with another red marble and another green marble. Uh, good thing we have two more. <laughs> Please check the Pikachu cage again. Frohai, beautiful, sweet, precious dear darling, and ultimately fragile Frohai. You are too good for this run to dark nightmare of the world. Many ways of chance and dream bear thee to thy rest in the white sandy shores of paradise. Frohai. Frohai. Hmm. Okay. I guess attempt number two. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Squint. Smile. Oh. Adios. <laughs> Engi. <laughs> <laughs> Langley. Langley the coward, Langley the black card, Langley the unspeakable. A thousand deaths, a million deaths, an infinitude of deaths would not be enough. Langley warm hearted, Langley bile blood. Langley! I hate him with everything you are and ever will be. Langley! <laughs> Your hands are definitely not shaking as you pluck two more marbles from this safe, cozy compartments in the drawer, and drop them into the depths of the pouch. Poaches waiting leathery maw. The risk of birds just abandons them. Are you alright? Betrayal over. Abandonment over. Lost wild cord is over. Oh, well, can't even communicate true de degree of outrage over. Likely to jeopardize mission if emotion not suppressed over. Uh, incoming over and out. Oh no. <laughs> I guess the third, like, freeze the charm. Oh no. It's amusing. <gasps> the little dude did it! Yeah! <laughs> oh no, Jude is so cute. Success! Jason Crow, buyers, my boy, so brace the truth, the great over. I actually just point blank losing your mind now. It would maybe be kind of a relief after years of bubble, but you could have picked a better night for it. Mission accomplished. Buyers, champion of champions, waiting for you in kitchen over. Why? Hmm? Over? Oh, buyers has marbles required to acquire key over. Why? I guess that sort of makes sense. New development. Buyers being menaced. Please hurry. Over. What? Oh, okay, I I'm on it. Hurry, please show you. He's all I have left over out. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> let's, let's go and get bias, I guess. Bias re MVP, indeed. The only loyal soul that, that did not get eaten. Yet. Question mark? Oh no! <laughs> Strife! Try to get its attention, make some noise, or some light, or something, or that pitch is done for! Pardon me, boy! To be the fans! <laughs> Can you give me a shine? Oh. <gasps> Tough crowd, maybe you need something with a little more flash? Oh, the daylight! It's attention, what now? Uh seasoning? Spice to meet you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just my first idea, I did not expect it to be the correct one. <laughs> okay, uh I guess. Hmm. -mm. Oh, you think for tactically brilliant seasonings murder? <laughs> Bias's payload, repeat. Bias's payload, over. Thanks. I'll... 
You know, I might get him down. He seems pretty terrified. I could have buyer simply as unfortunate mercenary streak. Should respond to enticement over. How do you bribe a pigeon? Sounds like a setup for a riddle or perhaps choke over. I too. Come on out. <laughs> Looks like all the fracas with the monster got him pretty shook up. You might have to find something here in the kitchen you can tempt him with. As you do not have flight capability, the pigeon remains out of reach. Maybe he needs enticing. What the pigeon's like? I can fax my pox now. <gasps> you stick some pox inside the fax machine, dial a random number, and achievement of love. Period. Appropriate references. <laughs> Wait for the machine to finish sending the fax. There. Now someone has a black and white printout of your brother's crummy pox. Thank goodness you can put that on your tombstone. Beep boop beep boop beep boop beep boop and there you fax Patrick to a random person you hope it was someone with a dog. Guys in mind you cannot use your heirloom to access the innards of this fax machine. You doubt there's anything important in there anywhere. Probably just gears and ink. Uh what could the pigeon want? Dog food? The tube highway that Jude's pet uses to get around the house. Oh! Is it a hamster? You haven't seen it tonight, fortunately. You're not saying I'm a blah blah blah. Hmm. I'm not sure why the trash is piled next to the fridge. Even animals know about it until their food fraternizes with their waste. Snack. It's empty. Wishes is all the delicious, delicious blah. Oh, dang! <laughs> Cracker God. <laughs> I can rate from this mega cabinet just the stalest, tiniest, worst cracker. Success! This little fellow uh, achievement unlocked. Federally doof is acquired. Uh, this little fellow buyers, you think? Yes, you're pretty sure this is buyers. Gobbles down the stair cracker as you tuck him into your pocket. He's got a little parcel around his neck, which you're fine with letting him hold onto while you actually figure out what you're supposed to do with it. And now I have the best item in the game, buyers. <laughs> Can I fax buyers? <laughs> you put one of buyers' fatters gently in the fax slot and punch it, punch in a random number. Somebody out there just got a fax full of beautiful birth fatters, so no one can ever say Joey Claire didn't leave her mark on the world. You know what? Since I kind of want to continue a little more with the story, and we've been going with uh, at this for a while now, I'm gonna make it extra safe here. And... I will use that. Maybe for another stream, or whatever. To just... Combine everything with everything. So unless there's really like a combination that I have to see, uh, you you guys have to tell me if there's something really ridiculous to you, like funny and stuff. But I I kind of just want to play the game for a bit now. So <laughs> okay, got the marbles. Do you want me to send the pigeon back? No, over. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to shout. Just very please protect by his chance of surviving a return trip. Very remote. Over. Okay, yeah, good point. Seems pretty dicey out there. Primitive, over. Uh, just use these marbles or whatever, then. I already know how it goes. Primitive, good luck, sis, over and out. See what buyers can do with the piano, okay? Uh, wouldn't be able to. It's been so long since I've played, I can remember everything. Say so use buyers on everything, but yeah, there's so much extra tax in this game. I mean, I do not mind it. I would also just like, you know, get a little bit into the, the meat of the game. <laughs> Biases need to know about your past sexy lamp. Let him stay innocent if only for a little longer. Bias is pretty impressive. The wingspan of this thing. <laughs> oh wait, there's another thing. Okay, we use Bias. Look at this big old pile of nesting materials. Bias looks eager as he can, as can be, to shred these and start pooping and egging all over them. Hey, what is he doing?
What a talented little little thing. Why oh, you guess this little doofus has some hidden depths? Uh, achievement unlock, burgeoning talent. <laughs> He seems to enjoy packing the buttons. Perhaps doing this takes him back to this instinctive provenance of hunting for earthworms, poking the tiny heads through the damp, dewy soil on a brisk April morning. Or maybe he'll just pack at any old thing you put in front of him. Buyers appear somewhat intimidated by the extremely dead taxidermy animal before you. From your perspective, their heads seem equally hollow. He's either using his powerful avian instincts to instantly ascertain that despair is not, in fact, life, or he literally didn't notice it. Hard to say. Let's see what Byers has to say about books. Oh no, Byers cannot read. He has but a tiny brain tuned to worm stuff and occasionally the attentive maintenance of his greasy pit. But what was the last part? Tainan. Okay. Byers is un surprisingly unperturbed by your attempt to feed him to a stone snake. He gives you a look as if to say, Who do you think you're fooling with this sad little performance? Don't you have something more important to be doing? Ah, his wing feathers, okay. You don't want buyers anywhere near the door to Chute's room. The smell of his tender bird flesh could agitate the appetite of Chute's pet. You don't know, taking care of the helpless pigeon is a lot of responsibility. You think the statue might be a little distracted by permanently staring off into the middle distance as if to say, I had a load of this righteous bar in middle distance. Buyers no, keep away from that thing. <laughs> I don't understand why the thing opens. Might be a bug. Uh, let's just go into the room. Test out a few things, at least. Do you mark the passing of the days and the years, little pigeon? Is there a part of your tiny bird brain that knows the pitch and the yaw of the tilting earth to be marched towards the setting of your own sun? Or does your powerful bird soul soar above, unburdened by such fears? I would say the latter. Animals are powerful like that. The animals in these posters look so beautiful and playful and intelligent. The animals you've encountered in real life, such as the feathery little poop machine in your hand, are also all of those things. But they definitely poop a lot more. Uh, wizard? Bias would make an excellent wizard familiar, but you're not sharing. You'd like to bake him a little treat, but you're all out of the cooking stuff. You refuse to even entertain the idea that you might have had any other intentions of trying to use Bias with his tiny oven. Byers tucks his head into his wing, peeking out between his feathers at the ballerina statue. <clears throat> Is he shy? Ah, Byers! Be more confident, you're a really charming little idiot. Sorry, Byers, no room at the inn. You've read that pigeons like to collect little shiny objects and stash them away for later, later perusal. They also frequently lose the objects. You decide to stop drawing behavioral connections between the pigeon and yourself. You think you'd prefer to bed down in some nice straw, and you think you'd prefer to not have your bed covered in pitch and crab. You examine buyers. Against all odds, this pigeon is in excellent health. You would give, like to give him a lollipop for being such a good patient, but that might kill him. Primum non cusser. No. Pri primum non. No. 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 no sorry, or I guess, Joey. Oh, oops. You give him a little pat on the head instead. Look, hopefully you're going to survive this thing, whatever it is that's happening. And when you do, you're rather not celebrate your victory wearing clothes covered in pigeon crap. A simple avian brain couldn't handle the blistering speed of your 4 megabyte of RAM. It would be an insult to your computer, frankly, like a jester capering before God. <laughs> a mantra chap is already dancing back and forth across the line between animal and man. You're not sure you want to throw a weird bird into the mix. No way, you're fairly certain that no video game will ever feature a pigeon because pigeons are ridiculous and video games are extremely serious business. <laughs> Bias were probably. Oh, achievement unlocked. Surely he has some additional purpose. <laughs> Bias were probably not to respond well to Bobsy because of all who would. I wanna, I wanna show Bias the thing. 
Do what happens, sweet to bri uh, buyers, Bryant. <laughs> you, you guess you could stand to be a little sweeter to him too. You give it your best shot for mom. I just seems curious about this picture. Perhaps wondering whether you and he will ever be as close as you and your dog so clearly are. Well, keep wondering, pal. You can't force that kind of thing. Not saying it can't happen, just, you know, don't be pushy. I think you need to spend a little more time with Byers before you're certain enough about your feelings regarding him to commit those feelings to ink in your sparkly tome of memories and dreams. I think I'm gonna call it here with that for now. Got an Chivo, and that that is that is the most important thing. We got a Chivo. Bias would probably try to eat the little light, the little light bright pegs, and maybe choke like that once in the kitchen. That would be just awful if that happened to someone sweet like Bias instead of something horrible like that monster. <laughs> Do the puzzle. <clears throat> Can I show flyers to? No, I can't. Okay. He carefully removed the marble pouch <clears throat> from around his neck and, believe it or not, shoved the marbles into the empty eye sockets. He discarded the pouch. What an evening it's been. Speeding? did it! The attic key has been found! You got what you assume to be the attic key. Achievement unlocked. Why is it even locked? Got the key! Heading back up to the attic now. Careful. Uh, careful. It might not be that simple. Over. What do you mean none of this has been simple? It's been downright convoluted. Noticing hostile elements grouping serpents massing over. Oh, jeez. We'll try to back you up if possible. Remain alert, sis. Over. Always Ember. Over and out. Oh boy. Uh, this one. I mean, I can go for a little longer. It's Saturday, so whatever. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh damn! So many! It's dangerous. Fear. Fear indeed. Oh no. Oh, that's a big one. That's not good. <laughs> no, Joey! <laughs> uh, we hope this guy isn't hungry. What are you saying? He's like 90% Mao. Hey, wait! Ow! Oh no. KO. Uh, dot dot dot. Choi's currently knocked out and has nothing to say about this brute squad. Maybe someone else can help you? Bias! No. <laughs> uh, play on, play on, play on. Wait. Uh, you know. Blah, blah, blah. Ah. Yes. Oh, for Bias! Hyperion child who was the sun, whose wing flaps are the wind, whose infinite beak splinters the skin of monsters and brings tyrants to their ruin? Uh, for Bias! Song for the golden bird who carries us to paradise. The beating heart of God is Byers. Byers everlasting. Oh, achievement unlocked. The long gone birds. <laughs> dot dot dot. I can't get through to tell you, but you gotta help her somehow. Uh, she is such a nerd, indeed. <laughs> How about this? Uh, here. Choi took a brutal hit. She's done for the count. You've got to find some way to distract those monsters until she can get back on her feet. Oh, I like the sloths at you. Muscular! <laughs> don't, don't miss the dude. Uh, 
uh, it looks like a flare to shoot distracting monsters. Oh, shoot, you hero. The way I'm getting past this thing, focus on the smaller ones for now. Uh, uh. uh wait. Can I just. Tap guns at them? <laughs> Guess there's no way you can see, okay. Uh, make it safe here, okay. This one... this one, yeah. Batteries? Oh. It's a note from me! Can I... can I... I'm being toast and they're never getting back, okay. Uh, do I have something else? Uh, excuse me. Oh, damn. Oh! <laughs> no excuses. <laughs> Okay, uh... Now would be a really good time for Chit to fire another flare! The little hands! So cute! I love the art! It's <laughs> just like, oh damn! So you're really comfortable keeping your back turned to that thing for so fucking long. Okay, uh, I guess I'm gonna make another save. Because I don't want to be eaten. Uh... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bang on luck next time. Okay. How about this one? Don't care. That was just awful. Oh. Uh, spicy. The all is scurrying around. <laughs> I closed, huh? Fire. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Likely scoured it. Okay, uh... So... What was the thing that actually had, like... No, wait. That was not what I wanted to do. Time to hit them with the old razzle-dazzle. Oh. Is this? No way can see. Okay. Uh... Focus on the smaller ones for now. I'm a little lost here, what I'm supposed to do. I don't want to use the key, it's probably not going to do anything. <laughs> no, it's precious to him. The other wrestle does, well, okay. Don't... Divert to... what? <laughs> the old... other wrestle does, what? Did the batteries again? No. A note from me. Flashlight. Oh. It's here. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Delighted to see you. One left. Two. What are you waiting for? The last thing I didn't try, obviously, was it again. Oh, no. <laughs> What are you doing? Now it's shit is burning too. Well, at least it's distracting. Oh, it goes like wah wah. That's not good. Oh. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck away from here, honestly. Sickness is style and flare achievement unlocked. Okay. No time for. Uh, what are you doing? Those monsters are coming for you. Hurry to the attic. Okay, I will. I will hurry. Want to get eaten alive? Don't have time for this. Go, go, go to the attic. Oh shit. Chief unlocked. Now what in the hell is going on in here? Oh, fuck. Key gone. I love the animation. It's so nice and smooth. Joey, come in. Please report status, Joey. Hello, it's Jude. 
Joey, are you okay? Joey, please, over. Yes, I'm safe. I'm in the attic. Just barely made it. Ew, over. Locked in, actually. I dropped the key. Safer in the attic than the rest of the house. Key can be retrieved later. Over. I think you were right. The way they smashed through the living room window and the front door. If I stayed in my room, I'd be a goner. Separated us with Vanguard. Destabilized power. Broke defenses. Finally attempted entry through multiple points of ingress. Basic siege tactics. Over. I'm keeping it right. I'm impressed. I guess all those conspiracies you've always talking about, you're always talking about turned out to be, uh, not fake anything? It's soon to tell for sure, but absolutely certain, correct, and always have been over. Anyway, thanks. So I'll just hold up here for now, I guess. Are you safe in the treehouse? Should you try calling your friends or something? Didn't want to risk their involvement. Always gamble and engaging soldiers of fortune. But maybe time. Remain secure in location and ignore object under curtain over. I'm not going to ignore it. Obviously, I'm not gonna ignore it. Joey, please, over. What? It's a big mysterious thing under a beguiling, fluttering curtain. I have to at least peek at it. What is it anyway? Data insufficient to determine, over. Well, I'll let you know when I find out. Joey, don't tap the. Or. Yeah, Joey, I didn't know what it was. Oh, can you repeat that? It looks static. Joey, please. I can't. Is it these two not go near the portal? Her. Did you say really? The thought. <laughs> <laughs> well, time for a new safe, I guess. Ah, looking at it, wife. Well, turns out you live in a house that has a hand and a jar in it. You must now carry this knowledge with you forever. There's a mummy in this room that really wants to be spiced, okay. Well, as in the crisis, if only Captain Planet were here. The monsters could eat him and he could escape while they were distracted. You've left him hanging long enough. In fact, as you stare at the gross, desiccated hand in the jar, you begin to suspect that the time for you to break open the jar and slap an anonymous dead hand against your own alive hand has tragically passed. <laughs> I knocked another victim up to its overzealous crowbarring, no doubt. Any chance he gets to... He gets... To gets to go prying and chimming, the kid just goes nutso. The handwriting is barely legible, and there's no return address, leaving with no more information than he had before he looked at it. No, this really isn't that kind of mystery. The boring kind where you have to frequently refer to your rigorously maintained collection of shipping invoices in order to make any progress. You hate those. Since he got his first best shotgun, this one fell out of favor and now primarily functions as a home to a thick layer of attic dust. Meanwhile, its favorite brother is living out a shotgun's daydream in the hands of your paw. Lock and load. There's no chance you're gonna pick up this guy. You certainly aren't going to lock and load anytime, so it just isn't gonna happen. Uh, anything in the foreground? Oh. Leggy! You put this in the attic yourself because it's weird the odd that your pa had a lamp shaped like a woman's leg. <laughs> Little did you know he'd soon graduate to lamps shaped like entire women. <laughs> Another. Hey, Dad. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name. You have to. You have to tell me. Touch. Is uh, well how I would say it. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Look, disguising your identity and impairing your vision wouldn't really help matters much. Yep, Taj. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, disguising your identity and impairing your vision wouldn't really help matters much. You're pretty sure the monsters are going to eat anybody they mean. Okay. Um, a mummy, you said. This is less creepy than the hyper-muscled horseman fountain in the yard. <laughs> Muscle beast, but that isn't really saying much. You haven't been up here in a while. Your pa sure does keep a lot of your crap up here. Weirder than the other crap, that is, or maybe not. Maybe all this stupid crap is basically the same. Oh, wait. Oh. Here? No. Oops. 
I don't like that this game doesn't look here. More of his guns. These are antiques and would probably fetch a tidy sum at auction. But do you think the only real perk to their antiques? Antiquity is it probably means it's been ages since they were used to murder anything furry and precious. I guess uh, the only thing I can spice up is this thing here. Wait. Uh, if it comes to that, to that, you'll eat the mummy first. <laughs> The key feels important in your hand, in a way it never did before, or rather in a way that it always sort of did, but never strongly enough for you to name the feeling. You know down to your bones that it matters. It's sort of the opposite of how you feel about a strawful hand. Bios looks at you and at the hand and he puts his little wing on your hand as if to say, Chili, you do not have to try to use me on literally everything in your house. Let's try Bios. Let's see what else is in here. <laughs> Bias, do you realize this globe is broken? No, he doesn't care. You really don't either. Broken globes or functional globes that are obviously inaccurate are just another dumb thing your pa collects, like four murdered animals or really distracting lambs. <laughs> Listen, Bias, yes, you do. <laughs> ah, of course he thinks it's just great. Listen, pipe down you. <laughs> oh, he toss a little spice mix at the leg lamp because, hey, you know what? It's been a hell of a e an evening. You're not necessarily in the mood to explain yourself. Maybe you just wanted to spice up a formerly luminescent leg and not give yourself a third degree about it. These were one of those old-timey lamps from pioneer times, and if the little turny things on the sides of those lamps looked like this key, and if this lamp's lamp were missing its key, then you still wouldn't accomplish anything by trying this. I'd like you're gonna slip a pog in her garter or something. Jeez, get it together, Joey. You're not into this. This whatever you're doing here, whatever this is, you're having none of it. <laughs> That heel looks a little high to be laying down, any percussive sure riddance, not to mention a little lonely. Trade does look a little like a tutu, but let's face it, you're reaching. <laughs> That's tap dance at this. Yeah, and send it toppling to the floor, the glass shattering, the disembodied hand suddenly searching with life as it guddles towards you, climbing up you and chokes you, probably. No thanks. <laughs> eh, weird. You have a strange feeling these are related somehow? Or they once were. It's a hard thought to pin down, and as soon as you focus on it, it's gone, like a dream upon w waking. Bias nestles down into the warm straw, a picture of contentment and safety. Uh, beg pardon, Snuckles is snoozing from you were under the impression this was a team adventure, not a late shift at the nap factory. <laughs> I swear there's a mummy somewhere under the chair. Wait. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Past passion for a previously a life artifacture has always given you the bullies. What is it with him? Not only does he not respect the lives of the critters he shoots, he seems infatuated with the notion of death itself, but it was a jerk. Easy there, this portfolio is pretty brittle, and you're not all that eager to huff the 5,000 year old dead guy particles that would be wafting up after you accidentally stomp dance him to the fine wrapper. <laughs> Ew. What he lacks in grace, he more than makes up for in regality. He seems a little shy, though. You leave him alone. Uh, let's season it. You don't think this guy needs any help with preservation? That's what you were going for, right? Like how salt preserves meat and he's a mummy or whatever? It was a little bit of situation whom you're on your part. Joey Claire, keeping it light, okay? Okay. You feel weird that you're even thinking this to yourself, but you weren't going to eat this mummy. Like, what? You wanted to eat the mummy? But you were worried it would be bland, so you thought you'd spice him up a little bit first. No, of course not. Ah, why is this so hungry? Why don't you have a better babysitter who buys food regularly and does a better job instilling the historic human anathema of mummy cannibalism? Why are you still trying to spice him? <laughs> oh, achievement unlock. Seriously, don't eat the mummy. <laughs> oh, come on. This poor guy already got exhumed from his tomb and dumped in your attic. Can you at least spare him in the, the indignity of being packed at and slash or pooped on? He's already been dragged out of his place by your adventurer grave robber of a pa. Must he suffer the further indignity of your brother's cardboard fat tokens? The key, for some reason, it feels warm in your hand. You don't think that's the mummy, though. You really hope it's not the mummy. Uh, 
Why does he love globes so much? Maybe they remind him of adventure. All the little abstract geologic features, the jack borders of exotic nations, the tiny bumps representing mountains. Unfortunately, whenever you look at look at globes in school or wherever, they just remind you of him. Unfortunately, you can't find any place of, on these old globes for the key. I'm glad there is a giant keyhole on the surface of the actual planet, though. It would be a horrible thing to fall into. <laughs> Bias rustles in and out among the wreckage of the broken worlds. It is disconcertingly adorable. Now you're really not in the mood for international cuisine. <laughs> uh, that one was pretty bad. You guess you brought it on yourself, though, trying to use those completely unrelated things together for no better reason than to see what would happen. You toss a patriot amongst a pile of globes. They don't fight over it. They're very well trained. Some very old pitching cages. You suggest they'd be thrown out, but old cages definitely fits with the aesthetics uh, up here. <laughs> One might expect that after all the fracas he's been through, this little guy would be eager to return to his, the safety of a cage, but he's reluctant to leave your hand. Perhaps you two have bonded. This is the true cage. <gasps> Friendship. Oh, wait, no, there's some old poop in there. <laughs> From iron cages to special extra nice treats. Pets have come a long way in this household over the years, except for all the ones that got murdered and taxidermied by a stupid paw. The boldest thing of luck was some empty cages in the attic. Well, not that your life has any obligation to be entertaining or to deliver some kind of payoff and the narrative expectations it raises, but it would be really anticlimactic. <laughs> They're pretty far out of your reach. If you threw some spice mix up there, perhaps a single ray might reach. Uh, season guns. Actually, yeah, if you dump a little spice mix down the barrel and it ruins the gun somehow, he'll have to just use one of his other dozens of guns he fears. <laughs> and the old calculus of capitalism, the value of these antique guns or these pretty new pogs is merely a function of whatever someone will pay for them. And that someone is you? They're all pretty much nil. Uh... Let's just show buyers this thing. Oh, no, 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 no. He gets himself nestled down all cozy back there, and it's gonna be you climbing over a bunch of dungeons and sexy leg lamps, and stupid clothes, and probably some guns and sexy leg lamps, and just stay put, buyers, okay? <laughs> okay, is there anything else I need to uh, really, like, look at? Because if not, let's just look at this. The thing that's definitely not gonna be a portal. <laughs> Definitely not a portal. <laughs> it's gonna take us a bit of. <clears throat> and I guess I also I think that's it. You can mess around with. This definitely not a portal. Okay. Before revealing it, uh, look. You can't avoid noticing the drape rustling around. Although you really wish you could, but let's see what's under there now. Be though before it gets to drop on you. Move. Ooh, wait, that's the thing that was in Chute's place. It's the key! It's the key hole! Ah, yes. Green and red. I see, I see! Will Byers in front of the impressive piece of machinery, he's plainly mystified. You have no idea what this is. You don't know where it came from or how long it's been here. Did you know about this? Is that what he really sent you? Why he really sent you to the attic? No, that, that doesn't make any sense here. Yupano? It looks kind of different from the stuff he usually dumps off here. It feels different in your mind, at least. You Wait, why are you having trouble thinking clearly? How about keeping your train of thought? How, how long have you been standing here? Looks pretty clanky and rusty. Dumping a bunch of grease, spice, and it probably won't help it to do what it's intended to do, which is a. Uh... Machine remains unmoved. Tap dancing was not the answer this time. Weird. Why do you feel like you already know this thing will make music? Maybe it's like a really complicated organ, and maybe you saw it in a book somewhere? None of that seems right. What the heck is it? 
as things on the sides, those don't look like pets. Well, not good ones, anyway. They do look like they might be hungry. You... No, this is important. Keep the garbage away from the... thing. Wait. Ugh, you keep having weird thoughts about this machine and you're not sure why, but you're sure you don't like it. Except the pogs of garbage stuff, that was all you. Doesn't look like it needs batteries, more like it's waiting for something else. Hold on, waiting? A weight machine sitting in your attic can't wait, right? R right? I guess. All that's left is a... Uh... Oh, there's some kind of weird interference. You're getting even more freaked out than you already were, which was severely... Oh, damn. Uh, 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 I guess all that's left to do is, um, using the key. That's definitely, yes, she's, wow, yes, you, okay, yeah, you want to do that, just, yeah, the key will do it, do it, you feel like you have to. Keyhole, it calls out to your mind, wait, what, you, key. You picture your heirloom, key, get it. Use it. Start it now, now, now. Key. W W W W W. Key. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm on it. Oh, damn. Ah, oh, this is the cool! <laughs> oh no. Poor dude. 